I would keep blacking out and waking up in a different place of the club. He's taking drugs. They need to get here now. I had genuine fear because I didn't know what was happening. He's not answering me. Your body just can't function at a temperature that high. Everything just went downhill. The first time I did uh, ecstasy, um, I was with Luke. We were really close mates. We'd been to a couple of clubs and raves before. He was friends with everyone. Me and Luke have been to a few parties and done pills together. He was just the funniest guy. It was our last day at school. We were going out that night as well. Luke asked if he could get some pills off me. My mate could get hold of them through the dark web and you could buy anything and it was entirely through Bitcoin and it was all encrypted. I just remember telling him, like, don't take more than two because they're very strong. Luke took one of the pills outside. I took my first and it all started kicking in. I was really enjoying myself. I saw Luke, he grabbed like the side of my face and was like, oh, I'm on three, I feel great. He'd taken three. I thought, oh, I'm feeling quite nice. So I take my other one. I didn't know how strong they were. The safest option is not to take drugs. You never know what's in them. Pills are unpredictable and can take a long time to kick in. One pill may take half an hour to hit your friend and three hours to hit you. The club was so hot, everyone was just burning up in there. I would keep blacking out and waking up in a different place of the club. I had genuine fear because I didn't know what was happening. Ecstasy makes your body heat up. If your brain gets too hot and dehydrated, you'll start blacking out, and that can lead to brain damage and death. But drinking too much water can be just as damaging. Ecstasy makes your body hold on to water and restricts your kidney functions. Having too much water in your system can make cells swell up, which can also kill you. Luke came over and he looked kind of like a monster. He was dripping with sweat, his eyes were rolling back in his head. I wish that I was in my own head and I would have sort of went, right, get outside, you need to go to the hospital now before um, it got too bad. Look out for signs of heat exhaustion and take regular breaks. If something doesn't seem right, move somewhere cooler with fresh air. Lie down, loosen your clothing and put cool wet fabric on as much of your body as you can. If someone is having a bad reaction to illegal drugs, don't be scared to call an ambulance. They're not obliged to report you to the police. I wake up outside the club. I said, where's my friend? And she goes, I'm really sorry, darling, but we've had to call an ambulance for him. He's taking drugs, taking MDMA. I stopped worrying about myself and it was all about him. He's not answering me. They need to get here now. When we first arrived, Luke wasn't responsive. Our priority at that point was really to get him into the back of the ambulance. His temperature was dangerously high. He needed to be in hospital. I got a phone call that woke us up saying that Luke was in hospital and I just automatically assumed he'd drunk too much alcohol and you know he had to have his stomach pumped or something like that. We unloaded Luke within 30 seconds a minute. Uh, it was clear that Luke had then stopped breathing. Mum saw me first and just literally just ran up to me crying and just put her arms around me. They were working on him. I think they were trying to put tubes like down his mouth and stuff. Um, and like they were hooked up on machines and stuff. I still thought he was gonna be okay. We had a joke saying like he's gonna need a fat McDonald's on the way home and stuff. Your body just can't function at a temperature that high. Cells start dying. We were just shouting like, come on Luke, come on Luke, like rubbing his chest and stuff and just like trying to shake him and like, like brush his hair and stuff. waking up in the morning and someone said in the group chat that Luca died. I was more in shock because I hadn't come to terms with this has actually happened. Luke's actually like gone now. I literally had a panic attack, like freaking out because I felt entirely responsible. We found out who it was. Imagine knowing that you'd given your friend drugs that had killed them. My sister, he said, you're going to prison. Like, you know you're going to prison. I was terrified. My brother doesn't have a future anymore, so we didn't want to lose their futures as well. They said that I should ruin this. 
this letter. The tablets were far stronger than he realised and he took far too much. Nonetheless, Luke would not want another person, especially his friend, to be held accountable for what happened to him that night. We were able to let them know how we felt, um, that we weren't hostile towards them, that we just sympathised with them. It's incredible that they don't have the anger. It's 90% of people probably would. I was probably quite close to being in the same situation as Luke, and I'm so thankful that that night I didn't take another pill because it probably would have been over for me as, as well. Young people are going to take drugs. They always have done. But there's things people can do to minimise risk. Get help early. Don't leave your mates behind. Every second of the day, I think about I'll think about maybe if there was something that I could have said to him before he went out that night that would have changed things. Maybe I should have told him to go slow. It would have been a different outcome. The night he died, there was a massive, massive thunderstorm and he was obviously dancing his little heart out. He left this world dancing in that thunderstorm and that's where he will remain. <laughs>